Hey, today we're going to tie the easiest, deadliest caddis with a top secret thing technique you'll never see anywhere else. So let's get to the fly. We're going to start with a size 14 or size 12 dry fly hook and some dark tan thread. I'm going to run that thread the whole length. I'm going to put one solid layer of thread down first. We're going to tie in some peacock. We want to use up by the eye. We want to use the longest fibers on the peacock feather that you can use. So I use up by the eye. And then you want to strip the end, the very end of the peacock, where you're going to tie it in. Then you're going to wrap that peacock, hurl style, right up to where you have your thread. Alright, here's the step. You want to add head cement to about two or three inches of your tying cement. Now, you already want to have your elk hair ready. Then pull your elk hair out of your hair stacker and measure it for the wing. And then tie that down. And you want to put tight thread wraps. And this head, this head cement, or the yeah, head cement, super glue is going to keep it from the, the elk hair from spinning around the hook. And it's also going to keep the elk hair from sliding out when you're fishing it. So you catch a fish or something, sometimes the elk hair will pull out. And you'll just be left with the no elk hair on your caddis. This will keep that from happening. And it'll make a more tougher, secure fly. And it makes it really easy to get, continue. Then I pull the elk hair back, whip finish it. Now, you're going to pull that elk hair back, cut it off. I How big you decide, this is how big the head of my caddises I have. You can make them smaller or bigger. I try and trim them off pretty close. And you want to trim any uh, elk hair you have hanging down below the hook. Hey, I hope you that like that. Very easy, and these are very deadly. And you can fish these for almost caddis all year long. Um, I hope you liked that video. I will see you next Monday at 4. And uh, check these other videos out above me. Make sure you check out these other videos. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.